Hello from Japan. Well, I'm leaving on my first international trip. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just a little bit nervous. All right, do I have everything? Cute. All right, just checked into the first hotel here in Tokyo, Shibuya. Nice tiny little room. I have officially been up for 32 hours and I am so excited, but I'm also so tired. So I'm gonna be fighting, uh, fighting the sleeping demons right now. Japan's been a place that's been on my short list for a while and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I ended up flying with a couple of friends. We met up with uh, a friend of a friend. We're getting the full Shibuya experience right now. Gonna stop for our first bite of food. Mm. Mm. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, got a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have some chicken nanban, some uh, different types of sushi, and then we'll see Sunday, probably Monday, for sushi tomorrow that I'm trying for the first time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It's great. Come in. Thank you very much. Well, I ended up getting sick for the last four or five days, and I've been spending majority of my time in my hotel room. <coughs> Aside from a really nice view of Shibuya here in Tokyo, I haven't really done a whole lot in the last three days specifically. Since I'm feeling better, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and get myself cleaned up, get a haircut. Similar? Like this, but maybe a little bit shorter in the back. I just want to look handsome. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Who's this guy? <laughs> Alright, 
right, here I am in the Tokyo train station because I accidentally missed my train. So it's like 5.30 p.m. I was supposed to be on a train at 4, apparently. Um, don't know how I got that mixed up, but I gotta see if I can get on a train yet tonight. We're gonna be taking the bullet train from uh, Tokyo to Osaka. Made it to Osaka and my room is absolutely luxurious. What's the view like? Eh. A little anticlimactic in our last view. I'm feeling a lot better. Nice clean cut hair. Starting to get used to the culture shock here in Japan and I'm having a lot of fun. Hey, yeah, even got myself some new glasses. I'm pretty tired, so it's probably going to be an early night for me. Tomorrow, the truck camping adventures begin. So I accidentally just got on a women only car, which is right behind me. I'm on the right car now. That was awkward. I am waiting at the bus stop now. Yeah. Konnichiwa. Speak with Japanese? Yeah. <laughs> Not very much. This one. Okay. Hello from Japan. First, let's see if I can't figure out how to drive on the opposite side of the road. different. If I'm being honest, this is, this driving is making me feel a little uneasy right now. This is my first time ever driving on the opposite side of the road. Not to mention I can't really read the road signs. It might be an issue. I've got myself about an hour and a half drive here um, before I make my first stop. So I'm just going to do my best to knock this drive out without causing any Accidents. 7 Eleven sells chicken. Hmm. And it's buzzing. Look how sick this little store is. Read anything. Hmm.
Thank you, Wes. Arigato. What the heck is this thing? Got the gas glizzy. I'm Mr. Got into the RV for the night. See, it looks pretty close to Steve, besides the back section, but it's a lot newer. All right, so we got a little storage room in here. We've got a top bunk right here. These pretty nifty window shades and bug screens. This folds up, but doesn't stay, revealing the bottom bunk. Big window, little access port door to the outside. Lots of little cubby storage underneath, which is nice. Got a full sink, the water pump right there. Spot to set your stove, which is located right here. Pots, pans. Got a working microwave when you're hooked up to shore power. That's pretty cool. Little tiny refrigerator. Got a full dinette. Um, this cool little chair with a flip up desk slash extra workstation for cooking. And then you've got the same bed like I've got in Steve that just pulls out and is a full king. Um, I am going to be sleeping on the bottom bunk, I think, because this is a good storage spot and I don't really wanna like keep moving this back and forth. So we're gonna give the, uh, the bottom bunk a try tonight. But before I can even think about going to bed, I've of course got to cook up some food. I'm pretty hungry after my my road trip, even though I'm tired. So I'm gonna make some stuff that I picked up from the grocery store. Wow, it's dull. Basically cutting into butter knife.
These don't look like green onions. What the heck are these? Those are green onions. I have no idea what that is. Curry udon. Yaki udon. I love udon noodles. I love curry. Never made this recipe before, but I thought, well, we're in Japan. Better do like the Japanese do. Pretty crazy day. Learning how to drive on the left-hand side of the road. It's a little bit nervous, like of not being able to communicate with people since I don't speak Japanese. And Japanese isn't like the easiest language to pick up on. Like I'm, I understand like three things. And that's Konnichiwa, Gochiso Semadesta, which means just like basically we feasted. That's what you say after meals. And then, see now I'm blanking on how to say thank you. Arigatomas, which is basically like thank you very much. Other languages are nice because you can like look at it and like try to sound it out. Let's go ahead and try to sound out that this for me right here. That's hitting right now, ladies and gentlemen. Might absolutely destroy my gut, but all in good fun. You might be asking yourself why Japan seems really random. Um, actually, it's not random at all. It's kind of like the perfect international trip for me to do, honestly, because. There's such a diverse, like, outdoor market here, like, with what people are interested in. Winter camping and just, like, the outdoors is really big here, and it's been a bucket list place for me for a long time. It was a big day. Was... Good news is I fit back here. The bad news is I think this sleeping bag's made for children. The night time. I found out maybe why it was a little chillier in here last night. Forgot to roll up the window. <laughs> Glad no animals came in. slept pretty well last night um minus the window being open but it was good stayed pretty warm this breakfast isn't too bad either if you're gonna try to make these pack the rice more than you think you need to Set up. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Japan. It's so sick. Look at that. For the first time since I've been in Japan, it's starting to rain. Hmm. I think I'm gonna order this. But this is how you order your food here in Japan. Well, at this particular place, it's pretty common though. It's like a vending machine. Just select what you want to get. Prints you off a little ticket. 
and you bring it up to the front. Car parked. How is it? It's good. Yeah. US? Yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota? Mm hmm. Doko, doko. We yeah. are cold. Which, which part? Uh, Duluth, up by Lake Superior. Doko. All right. All pulled into the first spot for the night. Had a nice campfire with some new friends. <laughs> And I'm getting up early tomorrow morning to go to a blacksmithing class. Make my own kitchen knife. See you in the morning. Oh, yeah, baby. Good morning. For breakfast this morning, we've got melon bread. Never had this before. It's apparently really popular here in Japan. I'm going to give it a go. Look at that. It's like green. It does kind of taste like melon. or black. Thank you. This is the type of knife that I'm going to be building from this type of raw material. Um, we're getting the knives in stage six, so they're oxidized, and we're going to be hammering off the oxidization first for this level. Our end product should look something like this, and that's after coning and sharpening with a whetstone. Okay. So try to not heat too much outside, mm -hmm. okay, try to heat it around more. Okay. A little bit inside. Okay. Yeah, more heat? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Scary. <laughs> scary. You can see the carbon steel on the inside. So cool. Arigato. So, we're here. Now we're going to sharpen, start honing the knife. Just a softly. Softly. Like a, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and it's windy. Okay. All right, you guys want to see my knife? I tried my best at my first time writing in Japanese symbols. It's supposed to say Maverick, so that's apparently how you pronounce Maverick with symbolism. I went with the uh, Cold Forge steel option. This knife turned out absolutely beautiful. I mean, there was definitely points where I needed some help, but I got to see this knife made from start to finish. So that's pretty special. How much is the ferry? This is a small fishing village in Japan on Lake Biwa. This place is also known as Cat Island because there is an immense amount of stray cats around. So we'll see if we can't find any. Insane. Very pretty. So does anybody know what kind of animal's doing that? Should I be worried? All right, I've always wanted to hit at a driving range in Japan, so here we are. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, I've got about a three hour drive today to get to, I'm actually staying at a hotel tonight because I'm going to a festival that goes late into the night. More on that later, but it's called the Fire and Ice Festival. It sounds like a blast. So Totoro and I got to go Totoro. Am I this this one? Hi. 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 This is a traditional <clears throat> style Japanese hotel. So basically this is my room and right now they have it set up to be a uh, entertainment room with like a dining table. And later we set it up for sleeping. So pretty neat. There's hot springs here, so I'm gonna go try to take advantage of that really quick. I can't bring a camera there because I'm gonna be butt ass naked and I'm sure other people will be too and they probably wouldn't like a phone being shoved in their face. All right, I gotta leave you. See you later. That was very refreshing. I was one of the only people down there for a little bit, so probably could have filmed until I couldn't, but nice steamy bath and an outdoor and indoor hot spring. I have to go to dinner in 15 minutes, so I'm gonna get dressed.
for our appetizer we have squash with red beans we have simmered fig with vinegar cream shallot which goes with the miso taro and sesame and some sort of orange sauce and a plum a plum wine but i don't know if the plum wine is alcoholic or not sounds like we're gonna have a very big meal <laughs> Soup goes in here. We got sashimi. Now we have a soba noodle. This one is with leek and wasabi. Mr. Rockfish with a salty tail. I feel like everybody's just saying hi to me. Hi. Hi. Right. Um, white gourd shrimp in Japanese wheat brand named Fu. And then we have Shinshu Wagyu that we make in the hot pot. Mm -hmm. Now we wait for our meat to cook. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is apple jelly, pineapple, and papaya. I think this is apple. Actually, this is not a papaya. The papaya was in the apple jelly. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the best meals I've ever had. Not maybe. Definitely. I don't have any words. This is so good. Whoa. They said... That's super nice. We're here at the fire festival. This is one of three of the best fire festivals here in Japan. This one. Okay, let's go home. I feel like that fire was gonna burn all night. We're in a snow monkey park. To see snow monkeys. We're in Nagano right now, Nagano in Japan. And we're gonna see if we can't find ourselves a good old fashioned snow monkey. Man, this is wearing a laundry bag on his head. All right, here we are, Snow Monkey Park. Look at him. Pretty rad. 
don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Snow monkeys in a hot bath. Gotta find Totoro. And then we're going to another temple. Also, these sick mini trucks are everywhere here in Japan. I gotta get one. I'm here at the Zenkoji Temple. This was founded in 656 AC. So there's a lot of history here. It's absolutely massive. And before you ask, no, those aren't swastikas. That's how they symbolize temples. Just getting settled in to the campsite for the night. The spot was kind of expensive at 7,000 yen, but it also has Wi-Fi and electricity, so that's nice. The other day I bought these, and I feel like they're gonna go bad soon, so let's try them. Put them all in a pan. And then they come with a liquid that you put at the bottom and it like gets crusty and makes them stick together, which sounds kind of weird, but it sounds kind of awesome. Also, this is going to be way too many dumplings for one guy. Sure hope no cute Japanese women come by and want to share this with me. That would suck. That looks a little suspect, but that's okay. Um, okay, we got the goo, the yabba gabba goo on, in the pan. I think those snow monkeys stole brain cells from me. 31 degrees here in Nagano, so it's the coldest night that I've had yet. It's supposed to get down to 28 degrees tonight, actually 20, 25 degrees tonight by 7 a.m. So we're really winter camping out here in Japan. That's bomb. Crispy. In case you're wondering how cold it got last night. Cold enough. Osaka, I'm going to a folk village. Looks like a pretty cool spot to see, and since I've got to drop the van off relatively soon, I thought better start heading back. My name? Ma Maverick. So I got invited to a, a Japanese hot pot by my camping neighbors. Maverick. Maverick. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing good. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing good. Do you come ca winter camping a lot? Twice. Hi. I make winter camping videos about cooking and camping. Oh. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. 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 Hot pot. Japanese hot pot. Didn't think I was gonna be getting a warm meal tonight. Thank you, arigato ma. Looks like we got chicken, some cabbage, tofu. Arigato ma. Omotenashi. Hi. Is it okay? No. Looks good? Bad angle. 
はい。ありがとう、まあ、ごちそうさまでした。ありがとう。So, I've made a few new friends tonight. <laughs> One is Moriko. She、uh, has been traveling around in a really tiny van, and I wanted to show you guys. Hi. Oh. Nice. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Just got her camper set up. She was telling me earlier that she stays warm with、uh, warming up water and putting it in her sleeping bag. And a little spot for the lantern. She was nice enough to sit down, and I've been using Google Translate to have a conversation with her tonight. <laughs> If you guys want to check out her channel, I'll leave it in the description below. I like your curtains. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tiny car. Tiny car. Tiny yeah, tiny van. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Very good. Uh, how do they say cool? Cool.、Okay. All right, she's filming a video of her own, so I gotta get out of her hair. But we're gonna go back to our campsite, which is very conveniently right there. <laughs> so good. It's always fun seeing other people's ways of camping, but especially cool when you're in a different country and you can't even speak the same language. And you share a common interest. It was fun. My friends wanted to meet up for udon this morning last night, but I went over to their tent and they're very much asleep, so I'm gonna get on the road. Today,、um, well, that was a whole dang ordeal, but I got them. I had to get on the phone with my translator, and it took about 20 minutes, but <laughs> we got the tickets. <laughs> We're all set. We got our tickets for 12 30 a.m. until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Sad moment. Totoro's gotta. Totoro has to go, Toro. Alright, there she is, all packed up. How's it going? <laughs> um, I hit. Oh. I hit an ice chunk. Ah. Alright. It was this morning. I was so good the whole trip, and then this morning I hit a piece of ice. Oh! <laughs> Just hit it, yeah, tight. How was your trip? It was great. Yeah? Yeah.、Uh, thank you. It was so good. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you. 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 What's going on? Good evening. <sighs> well, today I'm going to be train camping for the first time. I've done planes, I haven't done trains, but I've done a lot of automobiles. The only issue is I've got a lot of luggage and a lot of time to kill. It's about 7 6 44. It's only 6 44. My train leaves at 12 30 a.m. So, I got some time to kill. I gotta figure out what to do with this stuff, so I'm not bringing this around for the whole trip. Hmm. 
not seeing anything. Oh. Thank you. No worries. Okay, with a little bit of willpower and a lot of bit of finesse, we got the bags in two separate lockers. That's good. It is roughly 7 p.m. now. My train doesn't take off, like I said, until 12.30 a.m. So I'm gonna figure out what to do until then. Spicy pickled cucumbers. And hot ginger tea. And finally, some bao buns. What do you say, Minister? I've got about 30 minutes before my train comes, so I better grab my bags. That's my train. Status. Oh, look, they gave you PJs? Come on. Let's go. It's PJ time. I just asked the attendant if there was anywhere to put this, and he, like, basically laughed at me. So, um, I guess I just stack all my stuff in here. The crazy thing about this train is that um, on the departure from Tokyo, it actually splits off into two separate trains. So like half the cars go north and half the cars go south and they link back up. I didn't do any research about this train before I got on it. Um, I do know that there is three different tickets you can buy. There's like a bougie room. There's this one, which is like the mid grade. And then, then, then there's coach, which is like, I think it's just like a open, normal train seat. So at least I got a bed. That's nice. See if we brush our teeth. Something out of Star Wars, eh? taken earlier in this trip from Osaka to Tokyo gets there in two hours and 30 minutes and that's because this train goes over 200 miles an hour the train that I'm on now the Sito only goes 80 miles an hour and it gets from Osaka to Tokyo in about six and a half to seven hours so it's really a train for the experience you know like it's not built for speed but it is built for sleep in all seriousness, it's actually been um, a bucket list thing for me to be on a sleeper train of some sort. So when I saw that this was an option, I honestly thought it sounded like fun, and it is, it is pretty fun. I'm gonna try to get some shut eye for a little bit, and I'll see you in a couple hours. It's 
2 a.m. I don't know if I've slept yet. This is pretty rough. It's like squeaky and bouncy and loud. It's like 5 a.m. I've been up three times now. It's tough. I woke up to an announcement on the uh, on the loudspeaker, and they were like, "We're arriving to Tokyo now. Please get off." And I was still in my robe, so I had to immediately get undressed, dressed, and off of that thing in like five minutes. I gotta be running on like two hours right now. How do I get out of here? If you are. Finally checked in in my place. This thing's crazy. This hotel's really cool. <laughs> this is gonna be a good place to rest. Yeah, definitely don't recommend taking that train if you're out here. I mean, it is an experience, but if you're trying to get some sleep, not the greatest thing in the world. Gonna go ahead and get some sleep. I've already taken a little bit of a nap, as you can see, but. <sighs> Do you know where the entrance to the post office is? Is it right here? Or is it on the other side? Uh, other side. Other side? <laughs> yeah. I'm shipping, I'm shipping this home. Holy cow. Mishua. Um, yeah, I need to get boxes. I got myself a lot of clothes and into some trouble because I have a plane to catch in less than three hours. And here I am at the post office playing Tetris with streetwear. <laughs> Arigato. All right, well, managed to lighten the load up just a little bit. Now we just got to get to the airport. Michua. Uh, Hadina Airport. Hi. Most of my trip here has been pretty... Uh, desolate as far as winter camping goes and I really wanted to experience being in like some deep powder and the snowy parts of Japan and what better place to do that than Hokkaido. For those of you that aren't familiar with the geographic location of Hokkaido, here's where Tokyo is where I've been spending the last couple days. And we'll zoom out a little bit. We're taking a plane from here all the way up into here to into Sapporo. It's gonna be cold. I got the mouth. <laughs> Here we are, in Sapporo. Look at all this snow. We're driving to our next vehicle, which is a, uh, well you guys are just gonna have to wait to figure it out, but we're going truck camping tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet Maverick. you. Maverick. Lovely. Hi. Oh, so pretty. Segoy.
Okay, we are probably at one of the coolest camping stores I've ever been to. So let's get equipped for this trip. I had one of these and I lost it, so we're gonna get a new one of those. Oh, too expensive. It's too much. <laughs> too much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. you. Let's get it. We are in snow country. There is a five foot snow bank on the side of the road and powder for the world to see. All right, so this is the truck that I'm gonna be in for the next week or two. This is a 2002 Land Cruiser from Japan. So you can see it's a right hand drive. Luckily for me, it's automatic. It's got nice new leather seats. You can see it's got a navigation system, but I'm imagining it's all in Japanese. We move on to the back. You open this up. You've got yourself a full sleeping platform made of these leather pieces. Got some underneath storage right here. Some metal brackets. And then even the original seats are still in here. One thing it's lacking is heat. I mean, the car's heat works fine, but there's no heater to power once the car shut off. Nice. Right now we're going on the Bear Park ride. We're going on the gondola. Lots of hills here. Look at this deer. Holy cow, look at that rack. I believe the deer in Japan are called Sika deer. So sick. Right now I'm about 45 minutes outside of Sapporo, Hokkaido. Um, I'm in Nara. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna butcher it. It starts with an N. And there it is, Nobu Noburutsu. Noburutsu. The roads here are not that great. You can see that there's a nice layer of, I don't know what you'd call it, slush black ice. Been slipping around a little bit, sliding. But for the most part, this uh, this Land Cruiser's really uh, got some traction to her. Hi, uh, is this the RV site? RV? RV? Camping? Uh, camp, ne? Hi. Um, come on. Park here? Um, parking. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, well, this campsite doesn't look like more than a parking lot. I'm just gonna crack this window. Look, they got screens that they made for these. These are awesome. Wow, I need to do that for my truck or something. This is sick. Okay. The van came with these nice window shades here, so I gotta figure out which ones go where. This one. 
Yeah, there we go. They're nice and insulated too, that's good. Driver's side. Okay, that's good for now. Okay, now how are we gonna do this? Okay. Oh, this is definitely not as tall back here as I thought it was gonna be. I thought that I was gonna be able to sit cross-legged. But it's a little, it's a little tight when you do that. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? This brings back the good old days. Nice memories. Got my new pillow. There's no way I'm ever getting it back in that bag. All new bag. All that's left to do is shut the lights up. It is currently negative 14 outside. I'm gonna warm the truck up. All right, <clears throat> just came inside to use the onsen and saw this whole giant library of manga so sick they have demon slayer and all of one piece super cool to see wish i could read japanese so right now i'm in shintoku and i'm going to torigawa which is about a two and a half hour drive ish just kind of wanted to show you guys what the inside of this place looked like the campsite I was at last night was a, it's like right next to a hotel. Basically it's a hotel parking lot, but they have like storage lockers and above those lockers, you can go into the onsen. Um, they have one for males and one for females and you go in the nude. Leave your shoes at the door type feet. What's also pretty cool is all the vending machines here. They've got this ice cream vending machine which, I'm gonna be honest, those look so good. These are like some sort of fruit juices or something. And then you got the classic teas and coffee. I'm going about an hour into the mountains. I've finally left Chateau's. Um, Gonna be doing uh we're gonna be doing some ice fishing today actually which i'm pretty excited about We've got about an hour left in this drive here but before long we're gonna be on the water oh look at these mountains this is gonna be a good day Like this, it's biting there, it has to be like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is a fish like hmm. Okay. You can go. Oh. Oh my gosh, these things are tiny. Man. This is pretty cool. All right, got myself around, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 smelt, Six, 16, 16 smelt. All right, so he's gonna fry the fish up for me. We're gonna have some, uh, some smelt tempura.
pretty good. Fry them whole. Don't even gut them. And they're pretty tasty. Start walking? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What a fun way to start the day. A little ice fishing. But that's not the only thing we have in store today. I'm in a place where some of the best beef in the world is located. And I haven't eaten much of it this trip. And that needs to change today. But first I need to warm up. on my side of the road and buddy's coming down right here that's so scary you've heard me talk about it on the channel before and you've seen me cook it Japanese a5 wagyu but we're not gonna have a5 today we have the pleasure of being able to have a4 I'm en route to a butcher shop right now here in Hokkaido to pick up some of the best beef that Japan has to offer, if not the best beef. But first, let's just uh, let's just make it there in one piece, like Luffy. But it's yeah. Fun fact: Wagyu, wa means Japanese or Japan, and gu means cow. So when you think about that, American Wagyu. Wagyu doesn't really make sense. Here I'm in Ham Hamdori Minami. Ham Ham. Here I'm in Hondori Minami at a local butcher shop that sells specialized beef. Uh, Wagyu. Oh, Wagyu. Hi. Yes, hi. Hi. Wagyu. Ooh, looks good. Yeah, can you cut? Hi. Uh, for hot rock. Then. Oh, so good. Very good. Hey, hi. Oshi. <laughs> Arigato. Mav. Mav. Hi. My name is Maverick. Maverick. Hi. Oh, Top I'm, Gun. Top Gun. Yeah, Top Gun. <laughs> uh, Land Cruiser. It's outside. Uh, you want to see it? <laughs> Just driving. Uh, hi. And Hokkaido. 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 Oh, oh. Right. Yeah. This is what I'm cooking the beef on. Mm, 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 Hot mm, rock. Mm. Hi. Snowmobile. 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 Hi. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at that! That's amazing. Snow. Yeah, snow. Mm. very deep. Big paddles. Mm, mm. Cool setup. Very cool. Segoy. Segoy. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Segoy. <laughs> so deep. Oh, here. My snowmobile. Oh, after you got Hi. Oh, yeah. Arigato. For you. Sika? Sika, Sika. Sika. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, arigato, 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 arigato. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> I will enjoy this tonight. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Arigato, ma. Arigato. What a fun town and a cool guy to meet. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I gotta drive. I gotta find where I'm going here. Where am I going? Okay, 18 minutes. Look, it's Snotaro. Snotaro! <laughs> Totoro and the Snotaro. A couple days ago, I got this 
new stove at a camping store here. Uh, I think it was in Tokyo I actually grabbed this, but it is a little tiny stove that has a hot rock that you cook on. So we're gonna be trying that out today. Wow, this breaks down that small. Um, sir, this is not what I thought it was. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought it was just a rock for a second. I was like, it still has potential to just be a rock. Hang on, is it just a rock? Did I just buy a rock? It's just a rock. I just want a rock. Riddle me this. Okay, riddle me this. I can't read Japanese, so that's probably my first mistake, but you're telling me that you go to go into a store and you buy this thing right here. And this is, this is what you get? You don't get the stove? I mean, I guess, man. I just want to rock. I just want to rock. Yeah. That looks great. Looks like it'll work. I should've got that ready out of ya. I mean, it does make more sense now that I think about it, but I just really thought it was the other way. I didn't. I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Okay. Um. The guy might have been being a little bit humble about his beef raising. They're highly regarded in Japan. Like this area is highly regarded for beef. You might be wondering, wow, Maverick, did you just drop $500 on a steak or on some thin strips of beef? But this was 1100 yen, which equates to being about mm, $9 for one and a half servings. Back home, this would be very expensive. Yeah, this rock's just about hot enough. This stuff doesn't need to be cooked very long because it is so thin. It's my first time having A4. Brother. That is delicious. Okay. We've got to eat it with chopsticks. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It just melts in your mouth. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Everything smells like a steak. Oh, that was a good dinner. See you in the morning. Got pretty cold last night. Like, negative 17 was the low. Oh, it's so cold it got in here last night. Icy. Icy, icy, icy. Oh. What a place, huh? Pretty cool. Oh, I don't know how I do it. And every time I plan one of these trips, I manage to find some gnarly weather. Japan is experiencing a once in a decade cold snap for the next few days. And I'm fortunate enough to be Camping in the back of a Land Cruiser during it. Honestly, wouldn't want it any other way. So I have about 11 minutes left in my two hour drive to Tashikaga. And I'm actually gonna see if I can rent a snowmobile and take it out on the lake.
How are you? Um, I want to ride a snowmobile. A snowmobile? Hi. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay, let's go find our snowmobile. Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Hi. Hi. Crank that heat, come on, boy. All right, bye, frozen land. See you. Bye, lake. So sick. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Beer, beer, I don't drink beer, sorry. <laughs> thank you very much, though. All right, thank you. We've got all the window curtains on. We've got the back somewhat organized. It's time to slide back there and start cooking. Cooking! Tonight, I'm making suki yaki. Well, truck camper's version of suki yaki. I think I bought everything correct. I don't even really like tofu. Why'd I buy this? The store I went to didn't have beef. So we got pork. I gotta give credit where credit's due. Uh, this recipe was given to me by Mariko. She suggested this over Twitter. She was like, hey, you should make this meal, so here I am. Currently it is negative 13 here in Tasuri. I have a sleeping bag that's rated for negative 10, I believe, so should be all right. Honestly, not bad. It's looking pretty, pretty all right. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to taste like, but it tastes good. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, it's like mellowly sweet and savory. I'm telling you, dog. That is not a sucky yaki. That's a suki yaki. Tell you what sucky is his head rum, huh? You know what the best part is? No tofu. But that tofurky stuff. Fake, the fake tofu turkey, y'all can keep that. I do have this electric blanket. Um, I haven't used it yet, but maybe you'll see what this thing's all about tonight. Yeah, let's do it, why not? See you in two hours when I'm waking up uncomfortable. All right, I love you. Japan's been amazing, seriously. I, uh, I'm already trying to think of ways that I can get myself back here, but I've said it before, I hope you guys are enjoying this content because I'm really enjoying being out here. You know, this international stuff could be a nice fun mix up for both of us. So cheers. Oh no, is it closed? Here, tucked away in a little tiny town, there's a fox farm. I think seeing foxes sounds like a lot of fun. Whoa. Hi, buddy. Hi. 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 Hi
buddy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Hey, buddy. So this is a fox farm. Um, I think they're just rehabilitating foxes or it's like a zoo, but it is pretty cool to see. <laughs> Never have I been around so many foxes in my life. But everywhere. There's one. There's another. Take it easy for me, okay? Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Eggs are all packed up and we're on the last day here in Japan. It's kind of a bitter, bitter moment for me. I'm really, really trying to not get too emotional. It's been an amazing trip. Boarding our plane, going to Chicago. I'm gonna miss it. I miss it a lot. <laughs> 